him do to get the Queen of Zericania so riled? She's a shrew, that's one. Queen and witch in one. <laughs> Worst of both worlds. Look about her. What do you say to one more of your tiles? While we toss down some cards. Ah, why not? And since you mentioned one queen... Hey, this is Destructo Kitty here, and we are playing... Thronebreaker The Witcher's Tales! I like Witcher. I like Tales. Let's play some games. New game, please. Um, let's try for players who want to sit, relax, sit back, relax, and enjoy the story with the options to skip battles. Yes. The year 1267. War hung in the air. It sent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yaruga. In light of the threat, the realm's sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Meave, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ha! Ah. As the Queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meave's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. Caldwell had clearly ridden hard. Drops of perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. Hail, Your Majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The summit, it ended fruitfully, I hope? You would hope. Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> the strays of Sparla, the bandits. I was attend to during Your Grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. I deliberated, wasn't at all certain in giving you the task. I knew you to be an equally good strategist as I am a shepherdess. So my intuition said no, yet Reynard interceded on your behalf. Your grace, they're common bandits, while the Count will have a host of men-at-arms to command. Next time, I shall trust my gut. Oh, she's a cold bitch, I like her. All right, speak. What has happened? Be precise. As your grace ordained, I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strays' camp in the forest near Lockeran. We waited for nightfall to surprise them as they slept. Uh, alas, it proved a ruse. We found the tents empty. Straw stuffed dummies round the fire. Soon we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, rounded our positions, and ridden to Hawksburn. Hmm. I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. So the gold? All of it? Uh, it's stolen, Your Grace. But I shall do all in my power to recover it. This I vow, if it be your grace's wish. After weeks in the saddle, your grace's wishes are modest. A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Caldwell, I will now command. You, 
Send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. Do you see now, Reynard? I believe I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm, yes. And very little time. Hopefully you guys can hear that better. I, I fixed the sound. Okay, what's this? I can get wood. Give me wood! I want your wood, children. Or, not children, people. You will expand your army through the game, but to do so you must collect the following resources. Gold, wood, and recruits. On the road you will find useful items and even new companions who will support you in battle. If you don't miss anything, be sure to explore through the map to complete your side quests. Okay? I don't want to miss anything. So touch everything. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Oh, thought it were bandits riding here. Milka, they stretched her over a fire till she told them where she buried her gold. Rather die than tell them she would. But I know where she kept it. Sit tight. Sketch it out for you. Okay, so it's in front of the house by a log. Okay. So. The strays, they're called, Your Majesty. Because they bite something nasty and bay as if by the moon possessed. Okay. For anything. Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, despite his advanced age, proved very sharp indeed. Your Majesty! Bandits! There! At the tree line! The Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. They were promptly knocked aside as Meave charged headlong at the bandits, brandishing her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Kick ass later. Let's do a story battle. So it's just like the richer games. Ah, the card games. Standard card battle. Only one card is number of abilities. Players match some of the initiatives of the battles. In this case, you can counter an ambush. So your opponents will have the first turn. Thing about slings, they hide well. To attack the queen, an outrage! Strength of each human adds to this total. Use whose army. Armor, swords. Your Grace, the men await. You must lead to begin the attack. I know I'm trying to, but it's telling me what to do. I'm trying to play this card. Hello? Oh, okay. Did you hold it?
Keep calm, Tiberius. Give me a time. <laughs> this trays took ten and run. <laughs> He's excited. Away. One, two rounds in a row, which means your battle's victory. I congratulate you on your latest victory, Your Grace. The bandit stood not a chance. Of course, amazing. <laughs> victory is mine. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Matters seem indeed to have gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Meave said, arms crossed atop her shining breastplate. They've grown bold. Doubtless after the raid on the manor, the tax collectors... <coughs> ...have not heard of an ambush on the high road of foe. Hmm. Caldwell Excuse explained, me. avoiding his liege's wrathful gaze. Enough, Caldwell. We must put things right. Come! The Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and arbalists close behind, and, following in the rear, the bandits, bound in chains. Oh, what a mess. Hey, look. Things to loot. I oh, love looting. It's my favorite thing to do. Anything else to loot? More loot. I love loot. Ah. Oh, I do adore this prospect. Yes. Lyria, the Pearl of the North. With its hills and dales. Why? Its beauty matched only by that of its queen. After three weeks in the saddle, I've my doubts, Count. We shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. A spell of it they deserve. To survey your army, you will need to first pitch camp. Okay, so let's pitch camp, eh? Bit of respite. Respite? Uh, yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any. At ease, Reynard. At ease. Don't you find it wearisome sitting alone? Wouldn't you prefer another's company? Swapping tales with the innkeep, even? Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. But I prefer silence. Has it always been thus with you? Ever a man apart? Quite the contrary, Your Grace. As a youth, I gloried in company. Delighted in conversation. So what was it that changed you? That delight nearly cost me my head. But... Do you truly not know the tale, my lady? How I came to be your departed husband's aid? I don't, but would gladly hear it. I had but twenty winters behind me when I enlisted. Yet I was granted the rank of lieutenant from the start. Not by merit, but by birth. The respect of veteran officers, both my peers and seniors, that they could not grant. Nor did I deserve it. <laughs> to earn that respect became my driving aim. And to seem wise beyond my years, I began spouting off about the King's decisions. This maneuver Reginald botched. That he failed to think through, and yet elsewhere he'd blundered like a schoolboy. Such privilege, young man. He's actually quite... quite respectful for someone of privilege. Well, a brilliant strategist Reginald was not. They dubbed him the courageous, not the cunning, for good reason, I dare say. It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another officer had reported me. I was charged with Les Majesty. Les Majesty? The court martial took but a quarter of an hour to deliver verdict and sentence. I was guilty of treason, and the noose awaited me. But Reginald first stayed the execution, then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his person or deeds. Soaked with sweat, my voice cracking, I did as he ordained. Reginald listened, raptly and silently. 
and when I'd finished, he declared I was right. He then appointed me his personal aide. A clever lad like you, I can always use at my side. Hmm. Indeed. Though hardly sharp himself, wisdom in others Reginald both recognized and heeded. It was then I swore two things. Firstly, never again to wag my tongue like a fool. Secondly, never to betray his trust. And you never did. Know what he told me moments before he passed? Trust none of them, Meave. Save Raynard. The old sod was right about that, at least. <laughs> I thank you for sharing that tale, Raynard. Truly. Alas. I've come to fear villain might simply not be cut out to be a king, let alone a good one. A harsh judgment, Your Grace. Let's not be hasty. The prince has but sixteen summers to him. And he's thus fully grown. The crown he should be able to bear at his age. Yet I left the land in his care for but a few months, and look what's become of it. Bandits roam and loot unchecked. We might yet learn of mitigating circumstances. Events beyond his control. Would that it were so, Reynard. Would that it were so. Elsewise, we must hope Anseus will demonstrate more wit than his brother. Though I see little chance of that, either. It's time I attended to other matters. Quest completed. None, 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 none. And with that, I'm out. Destructo Kitty is out! So please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Goodbye.